Colonoscopy is a diagnostic and therapeutic medical procedure that allows a healthcare provider to examine the luminal epithelium of the colon and rectum. This examination is performed using a flexible tube called a colonoscope, which is about four to six feet long and equipped with a tiny camera and light at its tip. The camera transmits images to a video monitor, allowing the physician to inspect the colon for abnormalities, such as polyps, ulcers, tumors, inflammation, and sources of bleeding. Colonoscopy can also be used for therapeutic purposes, such as removing polyps or taking biopsies of suspicious tissue for further analysis. Major indications for colonoscopy include the following. Screening for colorectal cancer. Evaluation of gastrointestinal symptoms, such as unexplained abdominal pain, chronic diarrhea or constipation, and rectal bleeding. Diagnosis and monitoring of inflammatory bowel diseases, including Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Investigation of anemia of unknown cause, especially when there is a suspicion of gastrointestinal bleeding. Surveillance of previously identified polyps or cancer. And follow-up of abnormal imaging or test results. Preparation is crucial for a successful colonoscopy, as the colon must be thoroughly cleaned for optimal visibility. The preparation process typically includes the following steps. Dietary restrictions. A low-fiber diet is usually recommended for three to four days before the procedure. On the day before the colonoscopy, patients are instructed to switch to a clear liquid diet, avoiding solid foods. Clear liquids may include water, broth, clear juices, tea, coffee without milk, and clear sports drinks. Bowel preparation. The night before the colonoscopy, patients take a bowel preparation solution, often a polyethylene glycol solution that causes diarrhea, to empty the colon. Medication adjustments. Patients are advised to inform their healthcare provider about all medications they are taking. Certain medications, especially blood thinners, may need to be adjusted or stopped to reduce the risk of bleeding during the procedure. Diabetic patients may need specific instructions on how to manage their insulin or oral medications. Fasting. Patients are generally instructed not to eat or drink anything after midnight before the procedure, except for the bowel prep solution if required. And transportation arrangements. Since sedation is used during a colonoscopy, patients should arrange for someone to drive them home after the procedure, as they will not be able to drive themselves. The procedure usually begins with the administration of a sedative or anesthesia to make the patient relaxed and comfortable. The patient is asked to lie on their left side with knees drawn toward the chest. This position allows easier insertion of the colonoscope into the rectum. The colonoscope is gently inserted through the anus and slowly advanced through the rectum and into the colon. The scope is flexible and can navigate the natural curves of the colon. As the scope is advanced, the physician examines the lining of the colon for abnormalities. If any suspicious areas, polyps, or other lesions are found, they can be biopsied or removed using special tools passed through the colonoscope. Air or carbon dioxide is often introduced into the colon to expand it, improving visibility. After a thorough examination, the colonoscope is slowly withdrawn while the physician continues to inspect the colon. The entire procedure typically takes about 20 to 60 minutes, depending on findings and necessary interventions. While colonoscopy is generally considered safe, there are some potential side effects and risks associated with the procedure, including the following abdominal discomfort and cramping, bleeding, perforation, reactions to sedation, infection, and very rarely cardiovascular complications such as reduced heart rate and blood pressure.